hard to believe that Faison even had a mother, much less Nanny McTavish. I mean, nothing Scots about him. Well, bear in mind that his father was from Denmark. You say you knew him as a child? When I was a child? Uh-huh. Yeah. He was Nanny's son. I mean, it didn't really go beyond that. He was sort of aloof, different. <laughs> Some things never change. But who in the hell's calling in the middle of the... Clues? Yeah. Thanks, pal. Stay in touch. They missed him, didn't they? By a light year. You know, I'm sorry, Robert, but thinking about it, of course, I should have called you from there. It wouldn't have mattered. Man treats everyone like a chess piece. Except this time round. He's the one who's going to be checkmated. I promise you. You want some food? No, thank you. Coffee's fine. I think we're into our fourth pot. Pulling our all-nighter. You know, I don't remember the last time I did this. Did what? Lost track of time. You know, stayed up talking all night. Actually, I do remember. Mexico. You do remember things, don't you? Well, I'd be... I'd be lying if I said... your memory hadn't... crossed through my mind... occasionally. You've been kind. You're a happily married man. It's questionable. Besides, thinking about us has nothing to do with marriage. I mean, happy or otherwise. Oh? That's human nature. We... We shed a life. Dreams. Ambitions. I remember. Mine's not a computer. You shouldn't treat it that way. You can't just erase it when you feel like it, even if you might want to. Why does that life have to be so complicated? Why can't it just be a straight line? Oh. You know, happy and fulfilled. You all romantic, you. <laughs> Well, so are you, aren't you? Well, I know one thing. I know you're not uh, wasting your time feeling sorry for yourself or wondering about why you've been dealt these cards. I haven't got the luxury of self-pity. Did once. When I was told that you were dead. No matter what, I'll never be able to change any of that. God, I wish I could. Yeah. Can I ask you something? Go ahead. So, what's our next move? Our, our plural? Our next move? I want to help. I want to help you find Faison and Anna. You don't have to do any of that. No, I think I do. I helped him do this to you. And I would like the chance to... 
show him my displeasure. And I would love to see you have that chance. However, at the moment, I should contact Mac and Dominique. Tell them about this stamp. If the bloody thing's worth $5 million, Faison's not going to be too fussy how he retrieves it. What's up? Anything on Anna? No, nothing yet. Listen, but I, I may have something. Uh, part of Faison's scam, it involves a, a, a stamp that it's, was left in Torb's possessions. A stamp? This wouldn't be... Uh like an Egyptian type stamp, would it? How would you know that? Great, in a minute. Uh, listen, how did you find out about the stamp? Holly. Holly? Yeah, she's here now. It's a long story. I'll give you the details later. This thing's worth a fortune, and Faison thinks that Dominique has it. Yeah, well, he's right. Just dropped out of a uh, antique box she had in her collection. You're kidding. No, nope, holding it right here in our hands. It's a uh, Sphinx stamp. It's good looking, too. Listen to me. You gather yourselves up and you bring that over here right away. I found the stamp. Apparently it's in an antique box. They found it that easily? Apparently. If only Anna could be found that easily. Is this what Faison wants so badly? It's Egyptian. Must be a rare one. Yeah, it is. That's why it's worth so much. You say you didn't know you had this? Absolutely not. I didn't know it till it fell out of one of my antique boxes, and that was right when you called. My, um, Uncle Clive said that it belonged to him, to the family, and that your late husband had stolen it. Of course, who knows where Uncle Clive got it in the first place. Anyway, technically, we were just trying to reclaim family property. I just don't get it. I mean, with all the resources at Faison's fingertips, why would he risk so much just for something that would amount to what, chump change? You call five million chump change? Five million dollars? We're not talking drachmas here. Well, I don't know what Faison thinks the stamp is worth, but according to my magazine, it's valued only at about a hundred thousand. You sure? Mm-hmm. See, right here. I'll have the bureau check this one out. Oh, I don't believe it. Imagine when Faison finds out. Something tells me he already knows and doesn't really care. But it doesn't make any sense, Robert. Why would he go to all that trouble? Makes a lot of sense if you say Zar Faison. So you think this is part of his plan? <laughs> Why not? Sets up a scam and includes old Uncle Clive in it. They bring you apart. There's a commotion, there's a fog all around Anna's disappearance. Hell, I'll bet you even meant to find that playbill. And I played straight into his hands. I'm sorry. All right, fine. Now what? Is Nanny McTavish still alive and living in England? Yes. No way to contact her? Yes. Since she retired, she's been living with her sister in Shropshire. Why? Let's get her on a plane and out here. How's oh, she gonna help? Remember when we used to go fishing with Dad and he, he said, uh, you wanna catch a wily old fish, you use, use a familiar, familiar lure. lure. Suppose you can make that call, please. Sean? Sure. Yeah, like no, I used to do. Oh, my God. Holly, I didn't... Why didn't you tell me about this? Well, she only arrived last night. It seemed inappropriate to start spreading the news, so I thought I'd do it in person. It's good to see you, Sean. Oh, it's, it's, it's good seeing you, too. Mm -hmm. uh, any chance of an introduction here? Luke! Uh, close. But not exactly. It's um, Luke's cousin, Bill Eckert. You're not Luke? No. My cousin knows everybody, I guess. <laughs> wow. The resemblance is remarkable. No. I'm much better looking, don't you think? I don't know. He had more hair. I have a bigger bank account. <laughs> hey, hey, look. Good luck, everyone. Let's get down to business here and try to keep up. Now, um... Holly's Uncle Clive. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Clive? 
How is the old con man these days? The same, but more so. Holly's uncle Clive was convinced by Faison that with Holly's help he can retrieve a, a valuable stamp apparently stolen from the family by the late unlamented Leopold Tull. And this is the stamp. It's a, an Egyptian collector's piece. Faison maintains it's now worth five million dollars. Yeah, but it's not worth the whistle, Sean. Apparently, um, according to this magazine article of Dominique, it's only worth a hundred thousand. That doesn't make any sense. Come on, whatever else Faison is, he's certainly not stupid. Well, it's a ruse, isn't it, to get her involved? A diversion in a long line of them. Um, I'm sure you'd all like some coffee. Why don't I make some more? Yeah, yeah. Is be, that my, okay? be my guest. Dominique, are you sure that this magazine article was uh, accurate? Well, I'm not an expert. I would have to just go by what it says. Hmm. Maybe we should have this checked out by the WSB just to make sure, huh? My thoughts exactly. Okay, I'll handle it. What are you going to be up to? Well, Bill and I thought we'd pay a visit on uh, Nick Barnes. Faison seems to be moving in and out of the country too easily. Robert thinks he's got a fake ID. He means a forger, then. Find that out from Barnes. Look, are you okay? Yeah, I mean, Hey, with everything that goes on around here at the moment, it's just another day in the twilight zone. So. All right. Hello. See you later. All right. Bye. Surprise, surprise. Well, maybe one of these days when all this is settled, I'll fill you in on the gory details of my resurrection. I'm going to hold you to that one. Must be uh, pretty weird for you to come back here like this, huh? Of all the scenarios I might have come up with, I would never have conjured up this one. <laughs> Not exactly the perfect reunion. The worst part is knowing that I was used as a pawn against Robert. Well, he's having a pretty difficult time of it right now, Holly. Why is Faison doing this? I mean, if he doesn't want the stamp, if he just wants Anna, he's already got well, Anna. But that's not enough for him. Well, look, we destroyed his cartel, we humiliated him. It's payback time. Does Robert... I mean... He really loves Anna, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, he, he does. He thought you were dead. We all did. It, it, I, I wasn't making a judgment. You know, I, I don't I, have I, the I, right. I know, I know, I know. Anna is uh, Robert's wife, mother of his his child. Not that he isn't happy that you're alive and well, because he is. Really, if I could wish for one thing right now, it would be that we would find Anna alive and well. I know. All right, why, why are you hassling me? Well, it's like this. I, mean, I have this little voice running around in my head. It's saying, Nick knows more. Nick knows more. Now, I want to know about Faison's employee list. Names. He did business with a lot of people. Why don't we narrow it down to hitmen and forgers? I know he had two hitmen. Faison used to call them Alpha and Omega. How collegiate. As far as I know, he only worked with one forger. The best. Bruno Malfatone. From Malta. How do we contact Mr. Malfatone? I have not a clue. Last I heard, Interpol had picked him up for uh, forging a signature of Napoleon. He, he tried to sell it to a collector for ten grand. Sounds like that eliminates Bruno. Well, I also heard that he escaped two days later. What else? That's it. That's all I know. When I was here the other day, you know, I told you to try to remember anything unusual that you might remember from the days with the cartel. Did you come up with anything? Sounds a little silly, but uh, I remember Tob asking Faison once something that sounded real stupid. Well, that's the kind of thing we're looking for. Tob asked Faison if he, uh, if he'd heard of uh, from the Nanny Network. Okay? Are you happy? I told you it was stupid. Any network. 
You know, I don't like hearing Nanny's name mentioned so frequently in conjunction with Faison. Um, Faison's top forger had a run-in with Interpol just recently. Maybe the Bureau have something on him. Easy to check out. I'll handle it. Did Barnes tell you guys anything else? Barnes overheard a conversation between Torben Faison where he was talking about a nanny network. What? Robert, you don't think... I don't know. I don't know what to think where this man is concerned anymore. I'm all out of ideas. But I will say this, and everybody should listen. I don't know where this case is going anymore, and I don't know how long it's going to go. But you've all got lives to lead. What's your point? My point is this, that I can't keep asking you for help and leaning on you. This could get a lot more dangerous. Like the man said, what is your point? He doesn't have a point. Well, I don't know about all you guys, but I'm right for one in blood, and I'm in it to the end, Robbie. And I'm in because... He's in. Look, why don't we do this the easy way? Everyone who wants out, raise their hand. <laughs> oh, that takes care of that. Well, um, not too good at speeches when it comes to stuff like this. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, a simple thank you's going to have to do. But to make this official, I think I should swear you in and issue weapons at this particular point. Robert, um, I might be on the game, but I've never liked guns. No problem. And I want to help, but I'll pass on the firepower, too. All right. I'm going to deputize everybody else for the duration of this case until we catch this man. Or we kill him. All right. Everybody raise your right hand. That's mm. that one. I hope I don't have to use it. Amen to that. I'd be a lot happier if you and Dominique would take a long holiday somewhere. It's not going to happen, Robbie, so you can just forget about it. I'm, uh, I'm happy you're with me on this regardless. I find on a day-to-day -day basis it's getting... It's getting tougher to hang in there. I think I know how you feel, you know? I mean, if I was in your place, I don't even know if I could function with a clear head. I wonder sometimes whether I am. You listen to me. I am more than just involved in this with you, all right? Ever since we became a family again, it's what I wanted. It's what's important to me. I'm not going to lose that again. No argument from me, bro. I just wish my whole family was intact. I mean, I miss my wife a lot. I miss her. I know you do. The fact is, I... It's weird, I don't know... Where she is. If she is. I don't even know whether... She loves me anymore. Wait a minute, you don't even say that, all right? You're playing right into Faison's hands now. On top of all of that, I have... I have Holly telling me that... Faison... You, Anna, as a kid. Look, it probably didn't mean anything, all right? I mean, think about it. You went through everything. She never once said anything to me about her involvement with this guy. Even She never even... She never even hinted at it. Because it didn't mean anything, Robbie. Well, maybe it meant too much. <laughs>